so many cookies. What is up guys, Dan here from the Diamond Minecart and welcome to another Minecraft mod review where today I'm going to be showcasing the Elemental Creepers mod and why I hear you cry as you've probably seen this many times before. Well, the mod has been finally updated to Minecraft 1.4.7 by a fairly helpful guy on the Minecraft forums. If you want to go and check it out after this video then check it out in the description below. So the Elemental Creepers mod adds 13 new creepers into your game. Yes, 13 new multicolored creepers that all have different effects to wreak havoc on your poor little world. So today I'm going to show you all of them and see what fun we can have. So let's get right to it. So the first one I'm going to be showing you is the water creeper. So I'm just going to move away from the chest just so not enough destruction happens. And here is the water creeper. He's nice and blue. Obviously doesn't want to talk to us. But if we hit him, he's going to want to know about it. And oh my god! <laughs> so much water. So he just spawns a crap load of water. Which is fairly inconvenient for you. And next we have the fire creeper. I'm sure you can um, pretty much guess what he does. He's nice and orange, so you know he's coming. Bam! Oh my god, that's a lot of fire actually. Whoa. <laughs> that is a lot of fire. So that is going to cause a lot of havoc on your world. But let's, let's put this fire out. They can be quite helpful actually. So come on, just explode and put all this fire out. Yes! <laughs> so that's not too bad. Not too bad. So they can be helpful as well. That seemed to spawn a lot more water that time. So let's put this out. Get out. Oh my god, I'm so thirsty. So thirsty. No, no creeper. Not now. Not now. Yes! Yes, it's a miracle! Yes! So next up is the ice creeper. And this one, I'm sure you can imagine what he does. He's nice and white. And BAM! He just spawns a load of snow. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Um, I'm not sure why you'd use that, but yeah, that's cool. He's even put snow on top of the flowers just to keep them all sheltered. How cute. So up next is the electric creeper, and I'm actually going to have to grab some guys for this. I'm going to have to grab some nice piggy volunteers, so you can probably guess what's going to happen. I'm sorry, piggies, but this is your time to die. So if I spawn some pigs into the world here, one, two, three, four, and then grab the electric creeper, whack it, and see what happens. No! Oh no, why did I pick? No! Why did I pick? Oh, why did I pick pigs? I didn't even think this through. My god! This was such a bad idea, oh my god. Look how many there are, why did so many spawn? God! My god, that was a terrible idea. <laughs> I can't believe that actually happened, uh, and I can't believe I forgot that that happens. So I spawned about three pigs, and what the electric creeper does is it just zaps anything near it with lightning. Probably would have been better just to do it on these chickens. So let's try that again, just so we don't have destruction this time. And zap, you see that chicken died from lightning. So <laughs> that's a pretty cool one, and I'm, I'm pretty glad that happened, actually. I don't know why so many zombie pigmen occurred that time. That was ridiculous. But anyway... Moving on, we have the Earth Creeper, and this one is pretty interesting too, and I'm probably going to get encased by it. So, you see the Earth Creeper? Looks pretty cool. It looks like he's wearing a pretty sweet sweatband, but what he's really doing is looking like a piece of dirt. So, if I hit him, and he explodes... Oh, no, he's not going to explode unless I'm near him. Come on. Come at me. Just explode, man. Just explode. I'm trying not to get caught in what he does. Just explode. So, as you can see, he just spawns like a massive sphere of dirt. So, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. So, he spawns this massive sphere of dirt. So, as you can imagine, if you're in a cave or something like that, that is going to be really, really inconvenient. Because that is a lot of dirt. A lot of dirt. So, up next is the Psychic Creeper. And we're also going to need some pigs for this. So, don't worry. This one won't be as destructive as the last one. Um, yeah. So, let's get some pigs. <laughs> So what the Psychic Creeper does is it's nice and purple and it will launch... Where did you go? Hey, where did you go? So let's try that again. So <laughs> the Psychic Creeper just decided to leave the building. So let's try this. And what he's supposed to do is launch, guys. There you go. He kind of did it. But he kind of exploded it well. So he's not supposed to explode, but he just kind of launches, guys, far away. So he's made this, this pig freeze. Oh, I snapped him out a bit. I snapped him out a bit. So up next is the Cookie Creeper, which you've already seen in the intro. But the Cookie Creeper does exactly what it says on the tin. Hit that guy, make him angry, and he will give you cookies! <laughs> so lots of cookies, which is really awesome. Um, you don't get cookies for killing him, so just make him explode and you get free food. So up next is the Magma Creeper, and I'm sure you, can, I'm sure you know what he does as well. But let's have a look. He will... Get angry, he's nice and pink. Why are you on fire? So he's on fire as well, and then when you explode him, he will just create 
a lot of lava. So <laughs> there's a lot of lava. My God. Just imagine him exploding right near you. So not only does he set things on fire around him, he will explode into a crap ton of magma. And up next is the Illusion Creeper, which is actually a really, really cool one. So when you spawn him and hit him, he will turn into lots of different creepers. And you've got to guess which one will explode. So is it this one? No, no, it wasn't this one. Was it this one? Was it you? Was it you? No, it's not him. We've got three left. Can we get down to the last one? Was it you? Oh, got two left. Come on, come on. No! <laughs> so it's this one. This one won't explode because, you know, it's a fake one. So that's a really, really cool idea for a creeper, actually. Exploding five when you were scary enough. But when only one of them will explode, that's even cooler. So the one that explodes has a normal creeper explosion, as you can see here. But the rest will not explode. So that's a really cool idea for a creeper and probably one of my favorite ones. And the next one I've got to show you is the light creeper. So the light creeper is... You kind of guess what it does, but it doesn't spawn torches. It spawns... Oh my god, he looks like some kind of margarine or something. Oh my god. And what this guy does is when you hit him, he will spawn lots of light. So... Yeah, lots of glowstone. <laughs> so if you need any glowstone in your overworld without going to the nether, this is your guy. And this is a perfect time to show off the dark creeper. So what the dark creeper does is the opposite of a light creeper. So what he does is when it explodes, it will take out all light entities near it or things with a lot of light presence. So let's try this. My God, he's scary. Whoa. And as you can see, he destroyed all the glowstone. So that is a really cool feature too. Let's pick all this up. Come on. Don't lag me out. Come on. And the second to last one to show you is the reverse creeper. So let's just get over here because this will cause a lot of destruction. Let's try and do it near the trees, actually. That might be really interesting. So what the reverse creeper does is when it explodes, it takes into account what's below it and what's above it and turns it upside down. So let's see what this, see what happens here. If I just spawn this guy in here, he looks normal as well. So, uh, no, 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 he doesn't. <laughs> so he looks almost normal, but he's got an upside down head. So let's try this. Wait for it to lag and... <laughs> That is so cool. Oh my god. <laughs> Everything is upside down. Even the water. That is actually incredible. <laughs> wow. Okay, I've changed my mind. This is my new favorite creeper. I'm doing this on this tree over here. Let's try that again. Come on upside downy. Work your magic. So we'll lag for a little bit because... Ah, god. Yes. <laughs> Look at this. All the trees are upside down. They're in the water there. That is incredible. Really cool idea for a mob. And all the cobblestone, as you can see, is on the top. So it creates like a sphere. So the blast sphere of what it usually does pretty much turns your world literally upside down. And the last mob I've got to show you, or last creeper, is the friendly creeper. So the friendly creeper is a very nice guy. So if you spawn him into the world, he's nice and pink, all jolly. And you can actually tame him like a wolf. So get your gunpowder, right click him, and yeah, I need some more gunpowder. God damn it. I knew this would happen. So let's get a stack of gunpowder. Keep right clicking in and hearts. Look at this. Ah, oh, he loves me. He loves me so much. So what he'll do now is follow me and oh no, you need to right click him. So what you can do is right click him. He will stay. He will follow. He will. I think he's staying right now. He looks pretty sad though. Oh, so will you follow me? Yes. Oh my God. He's fast. Wow. So he will actually attack stuff as well. So he's a really cool kind of mob. So attack these guys. They're hurting me. And he'll make a really small explosion, but won't harm the world. He will only harm stuff around him. And the pig! What'd you kill the pig for? What's wrong with you? Ah, oh, but he loves me. So what you can actually do is you can heal him as well with the flower. So when he takes damage, you can right-click him. Heal him with a flower and have him as your lifelong pet. So that is really cool. And I like it how he just emits some kind of, like, small explosion that doesn't harm you or the world, but will harm everything around it. So come on, deal with these guys. Yes, deal with them. Deal with them. Yes. That is what I like to see. Probably my favorite friendly mob kind of mod that I've seen so far. It's really useful and he loves me. And maybe not. So that, guys, is pretty much what this mod has to offer. It's been around for a while, but now it's finally updated to 1.4.7. You can cause massive destruction like this. You can cause upside down worlds. You can have a nice pet. I don't... Uh, hey, here you are. Hey, guys. <laughs> so he's pretty... Oh, my God. He's way too fast. So, yeah. Do check out this mod. It's been updated by a friendly guy on the Minecraft forums. You can click the link in the description below to go straight to that post. So, thanks a lot, guys, for watching. If you're new to the channel and you did enjoy this video, then please do hit that subscribe button for daily Minecraft videos. And for all of you, a like and a favorite would be greatly appreciated, too. So, thanks a lot, guys, for watching. And goodbye! He loves me.